Hey, Matt Stefanik here. Welcome to Easy FB Squeezy. In this quick video demo tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your very first squeeze page, starting at downloading your plugin all the way to publishing your WordPress page. So I'm logged into the members area, which you will find immediately after purchasing the product. I'm going to go ahead and download the plugin and save it to my computer. Once downloaded, I'm going to log into my WordPress site. And by the way, if you don't have a WordPress site, I do have a video tutorial how to quickly and easily set up your very first WordPress site in a matter of five to ten minutes. And it's very inexpensive, less than ten dollars a month. So I'm going to go to Plugins, Add New. I'm going to go to the Upload tab and locate the file that I downloaded earlier. Install now. Activate the plugin. Click on the Easy FB Squeezy tab where you'll need to in input your license key. Come back to your members area and you'll find your license key. Don't worry about copying this because by the time you're watching this, I will have deleted that license. Once you've licensed your plugin, you will not need to do it again. Click Create New Squeeze Page. Give it a campaign name. This is just for your own purposes. Now we're going to set up the style. You can choose from any of the included backgrounds or you can add your own custom background image. I've already went ahead and uploaded a custom background image to my WordPress site. All you'll need to do is grab the file URL. Select an opt-in box style. Choose an add-on image. Choose a button style. One of the several pre-made built-in buttons or you can add a custom button image URL. I've already uploaded one of those as well. You can choose whether or not to have a page exit redirect so when someone clicks on the close button or the back button they will see a pop-up message prompting them to stay on the page and see a new offer. You can set up the Facebook subscribe functionality which we can do that right now very quickly. I'm here at developers.facebook.com I'm going to click on apps and create new app. Give it a name When I create a new app, I basically give it the name of the domain I'll be installing it on. Everything else you can ignore. Hit continue. Solve the CAPTCHA. And there's only a few things you need to worry about here. Your contact email, uh, which is pulled from your personal profile, or you can give it a custom one. The app domain is going to be the domain you're going to use this for. So no HTTP colon forward slash or www, just the domain. And by default, all new apps on Facebook are in sandbox mode. You will need to disable that. And we're going to click on website with Facebook login. Here you will need the HTTP colon forward slash and whether or not you use the www or not. Next, you'll just need to grab your app ID and your app secret. Come back over to your design settings and paste them in. Update campaign settings. Now what I like to do is just click on this tab again and we're going to click the preview button so we can see it in a new page. So far very, ba very basic. So now that we have that preview window open, we're going to edit this campaign again and we're going to move on to our copy settings. Now for the main headline, you can type in text here. You can also add video or a custom graphic, which I have a link in the members area for a free online graphic creator. I'm going to show you I just created one nearly identical to one I created in Photoshop. 
Here's the Photoshop version below. Here's the one I created with this online form. Nearly identical. So you can go ahead and save that as a PNG to get a transparent background. I've already uploaded this here in my media files. And all I'm going to do is use a little bit of HTML code to embed this. I'm going to add some code here to remove the headline. Give it an opt-in headline. This is the text that will appear inside of the fields. I'm going to leave the phone number field out. The button copy you can leave blank if you've uploaded a custom button image. Spam copy, this will be your spam policy. You can link externally to a page by using simple HTML. Footer copy, you could also add clickable footer links to all your testimonial disclosures, disclaimers, terms of use, refund policy. Uh, anything that you want to link to which is usually necessary when running pay-per-click ads. I do have a video tutorial in the back office that shows you exactly how to do that. For now we'll, make, we'll leave it very generic. Since we chose to leave the exit page redirect off, we'll go ahead and leave these two fields blank. Update campaign settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at our new squeeze page. So far, so good. We have our custom graphic headline. We have the Facebook button. And right now, we need to add our opt-in form. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new form inside of AWeber. I'm logged into my account. And by the way, you can use any and all autoresponder services, regardless of what it is, so long as you can be supplied a HTML code. Almost all that I know of will supply you an HTML code for your opt-in form. So I'm just going to create a new one here. This doesn't need to be stylized in any way, so I'm going to remove everything we don't need. Since I'm just using name and email, we'll just leave it just like it is and save the form. The next thing we need to decide is where we're going to have this redirect to once they opt in. So I'll just give this a basic name. We do not want to check to enable Facebook regi registration because we already have it. So we'll put a custom page in here. Save the web form. And we also don't need to check open this in a new window if you're going to be embedding this on Facebook because that's set inside the plugin itself. We'll go to step three and grab the code. And again, we want to grab the raw HTML version, not the JavaScript. Come back over to your squeeze page, your opt-in settings. We're going to paste it in. And we're going to click on this to open up the advanced autoresponders. Now, by default, all of these should have populated automatically. If they do not, you will come in here and hit the space bar, and they'll fill out automatically. If you want this to open in, in a new window when somebody clicks the submit button, which you will want to do if it's on Facebook, you can check this option here. Otherwise, if it's a standalone WordPress page, leave it unchecked. Go ahead and update campaign settings. And we'll find now that our squeeze page has been updated with the name or email. So now when somebody comes to our page, they can either register with Facebook or enter their name and email address and opt in. If they register with Facebook, the leads will go on your autoresponder list as well as in the back office leads. Now that we've created our first squeeze page, the, the only thing that we need to do next is publish a new WordPress page. So go to Pages, Add New, give it a title. You do not need to add any copy inside of here. You'll simply select your squeeze page from the sidebar you can edit the URL to have it say whatever you want. You can set up your SEO options uh, with a number of different plugins if you want to have a, a, a custom title, a meta description, meta tags, things of that nature. 
But that's all we need to do is, is give it a, a title and edit the URL the way we want it. Select your squeeze page, hit publish. We'll go ahead and view our new page. And now the new URL is what we set up when we created our page. Now if you want to set this squeeze page to your home page, you'll simply come into your settings, reading, you'll select a static page and choose the new, newly created URL as your front page. Now when someone visits your main domain, they will see your squeeze page. And there you have it. We've successfully set up a very first squeeze page and really in a very short amount of time. It's just that simple. There are a number of video tutorials in the back office showing you how to do and complete each aspect of the setup process. So it'll walk you through it step by step. Again, this is Matt Stefanik, Chris Blair, and I thank you for checking out Easy FB Squeezy.